dear students greetings today we are going to discuss about the stereochemistry of steroids now while discussing the stereochemistry of steroids we should know the cis trans right and t syn all these things then we should also know about uh, uh, the chair conformation board chair board conformation half chair conformation all these things are coming into the picture now let us begin with the basic nucleus as you can see here this is the basic steroidal nucleus now you know that a and b ring c and d ring a b c three rings are cyclo hydro per hydro phenanthrene ring that you know and the d ring uh, is nothing but the cyclopentane ring now please check the the total number of fusion points are 3 isn't it so that 2 raised to 3 that means 2 into 2 into 2 means all together 8 isomers the configurational isomers are possible for this particular steroidal ring now while discussing the uh, steroidal ring now check this one the configurational isomers of uh, steroid either the a and b ring we are more uh, discussing on a and b ring either the a and b ring of cyclo per hydro phenanthrene ring are in a trans configuration or they might be in cis configuration what about b and c c and d that we will discuss later on but as far as the a and b ring goes please check the first figure you see here the first figure a and b both are cyclo hexane one point second point is both are connected to each other these both are chair conformation that also you know now now they are connected in which configuration is a trans configuration is in the trans configuration check the a and b ring are connected to each other one proton is above the plane above the plane by dark line you can see right and by the dotted line below the other proton is below the plane means when a and b ring both are in the chair conformation they are connected to each other and one plane has formed right to this particular plane one proton is above the plane another proton is below the plane so that this conformation this configuration we will call it as a trans configuration means a and b both the rings are connected to each other in trans configuration now check the second configuration a ring and b ring what is the difference what is the difference now a and b ring both the rings are in chair conformation but the configuration is check the joint check the place where both the protons are above the plane that means a and b ring are fused in such a way that both the rings are in cis configuration got it so that a and b in trans configuration how it looks and a and b in cis configuration how it looks that you have come to know now now if i proceed next please understand steroids can either a cis or trans fusion please understand of the a and b ring other ring fusion that is b and c ring c and d ring are usually trans what i want to say a and b ring are fused either in cis conformation or they are fused in trans conformation but if we consider b and c ring c and d ring in majority of the cases they are in trans configuration that is what i have to say now a and b in trans steroids has c19 c19 you remember see here c19 is a angular methyl group now a and b trans steroid has c19 angular methyl group up and the c5 hydrogen atom down the plane that is on the opposite side c5 hydrogen proton and c19 angular methyl 
both are on the opposite side of the plane means what that means a and b ring are in the trans conformation right trans configuration a and b cis steroid has both that is what c19 angular methyl group and c5 hydrogen group both atoms on the same side now check here a for first first you can see a and b in the trans configuration where is the c19 angular methyl group and proton are on the opposite side direction of the plane and in the second side you are saying a and b are in the cis configuration what is that the angular methyl group and proton are on the same side got it so that now you know the cis conformation and trans conformation now you check the entire molecule till time what we are doing we have just consider about the ring a and ring b now here a b c and d always remember a b c these three rings are in a chair conformation right and the d the cyclopentane ring is in the half chair conformation for stability purpose now if you see here please see a and b ring first window now you are having three molecules three dimensional structures of three most common isomers uh, for uh, the steroids a and b ring first they are fused in a trans conformation perfect now b and c are again in the they are fused in a trans conformation and c and d is again in the trans conformation so that the first figure or the first uh, three dimensional structure the common isomer of steroid is the trans 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 isomer clear now second structure you see a and b ring are connected with each other in cis conformation that is what the proton and the angular methyl group c5 c c19 both are above the plane so that this would be cis so first two rings are fused in cis conformation b and c in the trans conformation c and d in the trans conformation right so that while i while I'm discussing the first structure i said it is trans 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 conformation in the second way the second uh, conformation what we will say the second isomer is cis trans trans isomer clear and the third one you check in the third isomer a and b ring are in the cis conformation b and c in the trans conformation and now c and d c and d check c and d are in this cis conformation means what angular methyl group and proton on the same side you check here it is on the same side so that the trans 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 or cis trans trans these are the most common examples of the steroid nucleus that you should so what we have understood of this stereochemistry of steroid the angular methyl group that is c18 and c19 are always the above the plane or always or right i'll say uh, precisely it's uh, usually it is above the plane that is in the beta position and they are generally in the axial form so that is the beta axial c18 and c19 are beta axial now aliphatic side chains at the position 17 are always beta in position like in the cholesterol you know that now c5 and c10 groups are attached are the c5 and c10 so they are attached are trans when they would be the trans they would be trans when 1 and 2 diaxial the 1 and 2 attachment would be axial both are in the axial position or 1 2 are in the diequitotal now it would be cis when 1 and 2 are equatorial 1 and 2 axial right so 1 and 2 is nothing but the adjacent carbon atoms in the ring and cis and trans of the all the four rings expressed in terms of what backbone backbone and we have seen that the one type of structure would be the trans trans and trans isomer we have seen this trans 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 isomers are generally naturally occurring isomers 
and if you think about the chemically synthesized isomer so that would be your cis trans and trans so cis trans trans isomers are cis isomers which are the chemically synthesized they are not naturally occurring one and the naturally occurring are the one which which are the trans trans and trans so this is all about the stereochemical part of uh, uh, steroid